Okay, Zerline, I got to tell you this story. Michael and I, of course, we do a lot of Mid American Conference games. All right. Uh, we're doing a game your freshman year. You hit the field, and your first carry, Michael and I go, whoa, mm -hmm. who's that dude? I remember <laughs> well. 1,500 yards last year. Uh, of course, Mr. Fisher had something to do with that, but uh, your offensive line, yourself, how are you shaping up with your rushing game? Um, we're looking pretty good this year. I mean, you know, um, with the with Fisher being gone, you know, you lose one, but you know, we're looking for that guy, that one guy to step up. And um, I'm confident that whoever steps up in that spot, you know, it won't be a drop off at all. We, we, we as running backs in the line, we have a goal, you know, every year of uh, we, we're going to do better than last year. So over 1,500, more than 20 touchdowns this year. There it is. We're looking at this 220-pound uh, power back, as you see, that can get to the edge. And Dan, when, when you look at the, I mean, you win seven football games. You finished by winning four in a row. You, you culminated with a tremendous win here in the uh, Little Caesars Pizza Bowl. What type of impetus did this give your football team? You're in your fourth year, as we mentioned, to be able to say, all right, here's, here's the reward. Here's where now the continuity becomes reality. And what type of impetus did that give the program heading into this year? Well, one thing we talk to our guys about all the time is uh, work ethic, and we, we, we don't, want, don't want to allow anybody to work harder than, than us or prepare harder than us. And so we've been preaching that to our guys for a couple of years, and it was so so nice last year. Um, it, I think it finally gave it validity to everybody in our program to, okay, we're working hard, we're doing things the right way on the field, off the field. We had our best semester academically. Uh, we, we had a 2.9 overall GPA last fall for the semester, and we were above a 2.9 um, the second semester. So. It was like, okay, this gives a validity to that, that if we do this and we stick together and we handle adversity, just like the coaches talk to us every day about and we continue to work, we got a chance to win and uh, win at a high level. And uh, now we've got, I think, a football team that believes in one another, believes in the system, believes in what we're doing, and um, we feel very good about our chemistry. Um, in college football, you graduate guys, so right. we, got, we, got, we got some question marks, just like every coach here has been up here talking about, but we feel like we've got enough depth now where we have a lot of capable guys ready to go. Perfectly into the next question, you graduate some guys, you graduated your quarterback. And uh, nobody can assess a quarterback better than you as a former great quarterback. What's going on at that position? You know, we have three guys uh, that we, we like a lot. You know, Cody Cater, um, his senior in high school was the best quarterback in the state of Michigan, and he won a state championship. Uh, Alex Nisnak, the next year, was the best quarterback in the state of Michigan and won a state championship. And the next year, Cooper Rush was the best quarterback in the state of Michigan. He lost in the state final. So three years in a row we've recruited waiting for this moment. We knew Ryan was going to graduate, obviously. We knew he was going to leave. And we've had these three guys that we've, we've targeted. Um, they've all won at a very high level in high school. They're all very capable. They're all 6'3 plus. They're all uh, ver very good students of the game. They're all outstanding academically. They all bring different things to the table. Those three guys are going to be given uh, the opportunity in the fall to win the, win the job. And um, we're going to let the chips fall where they may. We showed you Zerlon Tipton uh, on tape a moment ago running the football. He rushed for almost six yards of carry, Zerlon. You mentioned the 19 TDs, 1,500 yards. That's, that's fantastic. The numbers right. are great. But you're a senior now. What are you going to take on responsibility-wise in terms of leadership capabilities and by rallying up young players in the program to say this is the Chippewa way? Our, are you going to accept that in terms of uh, what you take into your final year in the program? Absolutely. Um, you know, here, you know, people know what I can do in the sport now. You know, I'm just, I'm trying to show people a side of me that I, where I can take troops and I can lead them as well, you know. Um, and I and I hope that my game so far has, has proven that I can do that, but I know I need to be more vocal, you know, this year as a leader on this team. And I just want to, you know, let's, let's rally the troops and let's have a better year, you know. We don't want him to be any more vocal. You know? <laughs> I, Dan was shaking his head when like, he said I need to be more vocal. I'm like, more or vocal, or yes. <laughs> well, Zerlan talks a lot, but, you know, <laughs> what he's vocalizing is changing. I need I think, to a little bit be more, more vocal in the right thing. It's about right. the D. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. right. You got four Detroit boys up here, born and raised yep. in the city of Detroit. Yep. So we're all Absolutely. home. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Dan, going to the other side of the football you got a couple of your good linebackers back uh, a safety back uh, how about the depth on your defense and who's taking over there we feel as good about our defense as we have since i've been the head coach i think this is where we've made our biggest strides uh from year one to year now uh, our defensive line we've got uh, good size we're much bigger and more athletic we've, we've got depth we've got 
We go uh, six deep at tackle. We go five deep at the ends right now. Um, we have two of the top uh, tacklers in this league back at middle line at the right. linebacker spots. Avery Cunningham um, and Jared Chapman both started all year at safety. Jason Wilson's the corner that returned. So, um, and then we, we've got we've got again guys we've redshirted and guys we've been grooming for this this situation. I think the biggest area of, of improvement for us is going to be in our D line. You know, uh, Latarius Walton's a 6'5", 320 pound D tackle. Who I think could be dominant player in this league. Jabari Dean's a 300 pound uh, nose tackle that. Uh, played as a true freshman last year. Um, we've got defensive ends. Uh, uh, Alex Smith is back for a fifth year. Kenny McClendon's back for a fourth year. We've got a, a, a Jeremy Gaynor who graduated from Michigan State, taking his fifth year with us. Uh, Blake Serpa had a tremendous end of the season last year. He's got three years left. And so uh, Lewis Palmer's a guy who played as a true freshman last year, and he's involved. So I think we've got great depth. They had a very good spring. And uh, that's an area we would need to continue to get better. And when, if, when we're good there, and I've told our team this since I've been the head coach, when we're, when we're very good at O-line and D-line, okay, we can start from the inside out, we're going to have a chance to have a good football program. Stout up front always. Where does it begin for Dan Eno, Zerlin Tipton, and the Central Michigan Chippewas in the big house, about 35 miles away from here against the Michigan Wolverines on August 31st. You played your alma mater. They had Michigan State at Kelly Shorts. Any special significance? I know you don't make the schedules, right. but starting um, against a nationally ranked opponent in Michigan? Well, first off, obviously, we have tremendous respect for them and their program, and Coach Hoke, he's a, he's a class act. They obviously have an outstanding uh, staff, um, and obviously their, their history speaks for itself. I think it's a great opportunity for our team uh, to go into that environment of a national TV game, 100,000 people, uh, and to put those guys in, hey, this is going to be a very tough environment. you got to handle the environment. Wherever that quarterback is going to be, let's put you out there right now and uh, let's get you started. And uh, I'm playing a very, very good opponent. So uh, we think it's a great opportunity. We'll be, we'll be up for the challenge, and I, I know it's going to be very exciting for our players and our coaches. Mount Pleasant is rocking, and that's because uh, Dan Eno, Zerlin, Tipton, Central Michigan Chippewas uh, rocking at the end of last season. Good luck in 2013. Thank you very much. Looking Appreciate forward it. to sustaining. Look forward to seeing you uh, toting the rock, young man. Thank you. Yeah, with all those lofty goals and anticipating that very, very much. 